Hey guys, welcome to what is the best Starker game I've, for some reason, never completed a run on uh, YouTube. I think it was because, yeah, it was because I was doing Misery Mod and I uh, was very miserable while doing it. I didn't think it was a very good outlet for YouTube-ish stuff, but um, I, I I thought it was a, it's just a tragedy I never did this uh, game. It's, as I said, best Starker game. Uh, yet. So, instead of, uh, Misery Mod, we're running it through with, um, Arsenal Overhaul 3.1, uh, which is going to add more, uh, weapons and stuff, and then I also pretty fight it with, uh, Atmosphere 3, and then there's another Atmos something. I don't know, it's just, uh, some graphic upgrades. So it's a relatively vanilla experience, except we get more variety in, uh, weapons that we find. Um, but it, everything should be relatively the same. It's also been a very long time since I've uh, run through this game, so uh, you're gonna have to forgive me if I don't remember everything that goes on. But it should be—we uh, should have some good times. So let's uh, get started then. At zero one twenty-three on April twenty-six, nineteen eighty-six, the reactor of Power Block Four of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30 kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station, as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy. The survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011. Despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012. A stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone, some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, others in search of the wish granter. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Dektarev, a USS special agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, Equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. Alright guys, welcome to the game. Uh, so, 
the first thing important that's kind of to note about this game is it's just notoriously unstable. I've had it, I've already had it crash a couple times. Um, uh, not while I was, it's mostly when I play around with it, so I'm not gonna be playing around with it at all. Uh, but like the settings or anything like that. However, it's uh, very well done. And uh, actually, I do not think this is the spawn location that we're normally at. We usually spawn over here in the vanilla game. So they've moved me over here, uh, which means we can go over to Sawmill first, actually. Uh, but you can see how kind of big this map is, and this is not the only place we have to go to. We have a couple of anomalies to go to, and uh, some other jazz like that. So let's go to Sawmill first. Because that, I can guarantee you, will have a couple of nice weapons and things. So we start off with a sawed-off shotgun, and we have also a pistol. You actually have two weapon slots. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a thing in uh, at least Shadow of Chernobyl. So we have a couple of uh, guys here. Uh, what's my binoculars key? That would be the binoculars key. So these guys are uh, not our friends. They are zombies. So we'll just, I guess, shoot this guy right here. Sniper basically. Yeah, so I'm playing without the crosshair and some other jazz, just because it adds to what I feel is a very atmospheric game, so. What the f- Oh, those are leaves. Oh wait, this guy's not dead. Okay, so where's this guy at? We can kind of see him on the map, although the map- the UI is very small. And it's just kind of what this game did. This guy's nothing. I'll just take all his jazz. Oh, this guy's still alive. Guess that just butt rushing them is a good strategy. Hey, we got a new gun here. I'll take that, and I'll also take all. We also have our first detector. And that's actually a very good one too. I'm surprised it's actually giving me that so early. Uh, debating how to approach this. I, I don't really want to just stand out here, although maybe I can just, nah, rushing him is a bad idea. Just want to... Kind of pick them off slowly, because it seems that the rest of the herd doesn't really get uh, attracted. Which I find kind of weird. I'm pretty sure that guy, yeah, that guy's like jiggling on the ground. Weapon jammed. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I think there's one more. You can kind of see on the map there's one more like over there, but he's I think far enough away that it won't be a problem. So let's let's start looting some of these guys. So this guy has a uh, some full metal. Uh, is that from this weapon? This is uses uh no, it's five forty five. We already have like a ton of different weapons we can we can already use. It's that we haven't even started like been playing this game for like a few minutes now. Well, I, I would say this is a ton, but hey, he's got a med cat uh, med kit with him, not med cap. It isn't a med cap. Why do these guys not appear to have weapons with them? It's possible that they dropped on the floor. Okay, here you go. We got an AKS. One sec. If I hold F, it will actually. Sh oh shit. Okay, we are bleeding slightly. You can see the bleeding icon in like the bottom right. It's just like the, uh, it's just like the blood symbol that's, that's going on and off. And we also took a little bit of health damage. I'm not sure if we, if we heal naturally, but I'm going to assume we do not. And we have to use, uh, med kits, so. So, okay, that guy has a, uh. Guy has one of these, uh, well, scorpion is what it is. Oh, here we go. We have a weapon right there. Finding a couple more. Another scorpion. Another, I, I really hate the scorpions, okay? I, I'm not a big fan of that. I know it's an SMG, and I know I'm going to hate it, so. Find it. You know, if you guys want to see it, just for memes, here we go. All right, let me, let me try and shoot this asshole. That weapon is jammed. Okay, that's a good sign. Nice. Nice recoil. 
Alright, we're fucking not doing that. Uh, we have a pump action here. Not gonna really bother with that. I think I'm good with that. I mean, I'll take some of these weapons with me because I'm pretty sure I can sell them. Uh, let's have a look at what's over here. Oh, look, this guy right here. Let's take cover. Okay, looks like they're all now starting to shoot. I also don't like the fact that I'm kind of running out of ammunition here. Okay. Oh, why did I... I don't know why I'm trying to long range him with the sawed off, but okay. Just waiting for him to get a bit closer. There we go. We gotta be careful because they can ambush like crazy. Yeah, they are fucking not happy with me. Oh, there we go. We got an AK-47. That's a much better, uh... Actually, I don't know how much better that is necessarily to this guy. I think it's a slightly better. Alright, let's just check our corners just to make sure, uh... They, these guys will sneak up on you. Oh, oh there you go. There's one. We need to actually uh, unload some of these weapons. Because we have additional ammo. Yeah, there we go. We got 42 rounds now. I can see someone shooting right there. So as long as you're careful, I mean, we, you, we can do this. But early on, we just don't have, well, I, you know, in general, just like getting swarmed by these guys is not an appetizing ordeal. Just want to try and get these guns real quick. There, there's a couple of them. Yeah, I knew it. Alright, let's take, uh, this guy has another rifle, that's kind of nice. Wait, I just picked up another rifle here. It's a, it was another shotgun. I kind of have the flashlight on, I realize. I'm too lazy to turn it off, it's like the L key. Alright, let me just check, make sure nobody's over here. Okay, uh, so we can actually unload some of this stuff now. I don't know if we're keeping all this, because I'm already at my max weight, so we're gonna probably drop these shit-ass pistols. Actually, these ones have pretty good durability. I'll drop this guy, though. And I don't want these sh I don't want these shotguns. And this one has an excellent durability. Yeah, let's drop that guy, too. Durability, I think, has a lot to do with the, uh, cell value of a weapon, so... I'll definitely take that. It's sad, but I don't think we found much, uh, much anything better here than what we have right now. Uh, I mean, we got an AK-47, that's pretty good. So we can kind of compare weapon stats to what we have equipped. Uh, so I equipped this guy. It looks like I am kind of healing naturally on my own, so that's, that's kind of nice. Um, so if it's a red bar, it means I'm getting less out of it. If it's a green bar, it means I'm getting more out of it. It kind of shows you by how much. Um, at least I think that's how it works. Because when I hover over the AK-47, it's also different. What is it? What is it in comparison to? Oh, it's in comparison to my default weapon slot, actually. So if I do this... This will now show me the comparison. Okay, that that's, works a little bit differently. So, actually, this weapon is slightly better. Technically, but this one has better durability, so... Like, what do you want? It's not exactly what I would call a bug-free game. Let's just go with that. I think I, yeah, this guy's a score. Oh, we didn't loot these guys, though. I don't want this stupid-ass scorpion. That's the worst. It's a meme weapon, like, literally. Uh, I took his stuff. No, I didn't. Alright. So, most of this crap's been looted already. It's something got to fall out or whatever the fuck. But we can go up here. 
I think there's some goodies up here because I remember always Sawmill having something nice. Well, they had some uh, first aid sprays, some drinks. Uh, an RG D5 grenade and F1 grenade. All right. Some. I think that's sniper ammo there. Some uh, more ammo for my assault rifle. And here we go. Tools for basic work. Kind of just plops you in front of the place where you get that. I don't remember where all the tools are, but uh, I'm pretty sure at some point I'll be kind of looking it up. But I think I think we're basically done with this area. I don't see any box or anything I want to open. Oh. I think I'm actually really over-encumbered, over actually. Uh, well, like, sort of-ish. Let's just drop on these rifles. And probably another one of these scorpions. Fuck those weapons. So I, I like running. I don't know if there's anyone else here, but... Box? With, with nothing in it. Oh, it's it for the flashlight. I think we're good here. Probably being around in the middle of the night is uh, not, a, not a great idea. It feels like it's getting dark, uh, but I have a time there, so it's actually 10.57, and I'm assuming that's 24 hour time, so... These guys, these guys are friendly. Just regular old stalkers. Alright, hey. How are you doing? Speak to the boss. You the boss? I guess he is. Uh, where's the nearest stalker camp around here? Uh, he just gave me coordinates. It's Scav... Scav... I can't pronounce that. Alright. Um... But I don't really care what he's up to. Maybe we'll trade with him. Oh, he's actually got a fair bit of money. Hey, look, he's gonna take the shitty scorpions. And the pistols. Uh, I don't really need this ammo. I don't know what this ammo is for, though. We got the tools for basic work. Yeah, I, I, I don't care about most of this. I think I want to keep the grenades, though. Stalker energy drink. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'd laugh too. The boss is over there. Go talk to him. Ah, oh, it's another guy. <laughs> He's got bread. But they have a shit ton of money here, so I mean if I want to. Oh, apparently this ammunition is worth a lot. It's a SP6 is a subsonic uh, assault rifle round. Yeah, you see that could be like a part of a really good weapon. Actually we can sell all this crap. I'll take that. Okay, we need that ammo. Why doesn't he want this one? It's too damaged to be traded. Okay. It's, uh, I think it has to be just really green. I mean, I'll, I'll go to the town and I'll see if they're gonna, they're gonna get, take it, but, yeah. No, we, don't need, we don't need vodka, actually. Stalker drives me to drinking. Alright. So, let's have a look at where he wanted us to go. He wanted us to go, I know where the ship is, it's like right there. And you can actually kind of see it on my map, but I'm gonna assume that that's not gonna come out in video quality unless it's like your have like extremely good fucking vision, but just know I'm following my map. You know, going through water in like the zone just doesn't seem like a very good idea, but hey, I'm doing it anyways. Over here. Oh, it's a theater. Nothing appears to really be here, though. Nothing but disappointment and shame here. But I feel like we should just kind of have a quick look at some of the buildings. I'm holding F, though, so I can see items if they're around. Because I... I like... It. Oh, here we go. That is incredibly creepy. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got some uh, stalker energy drinks. Some sausage, just randomly on the fucking ground. Okay, I, I'm just trying to slurp it all up. I like destroy this table. No. Okay, I, I don't know how to get the rest of that. I am going down as far as I can. Why is it getting so fucking dark?
Okay, I took as much as I can. There's like one more like alcohol there, but that's fine. I don't need it. Attention, stalkers! An emission is approaching. I repeat, an emission is approaching. Seek cover immediately. Don't worry, the shit. Our destination is right here. Oh shit! How fast these happen? Fuck. Well, this just got interesting this first episode. Oh fuck, I'm out of energy. I should have taken the energy drinks. I should be fine. It's actually really fucking awesome. And it's not lagging me. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is not the ship. It is the ship, actually. Pretty sure it's the ship. Uh oh, we might be fucked though. It's showing me where to go. Attention, stalkers! An emission will start any minute now. Find cover if you want to live. I, I would love to live. I thought this was the fucking entrance. Oh, here we go. This is good enough actually for uh, surviving the emission. Actually. Okay, we're good. We're good now. I got a little bit worried. I won't lie. Can I talk to you? Speak to the boss. This wasn't actually our intended destination. Okay, I can't talk to him either. Yeah, I'm not mo I'm not moving from this place. Yeah, so if I'm outside right now, I die. That's how this works. This zone's fucking crazy. Oh. Okay, apparently, uh... This isn't shelter? <laughs> okay. Alright, so I ended up back over here, and, um, apparently neither of them will want to sell me anything, but I already know where I'm going, so I guess that works. Uh, like, they won't even tell me where the, the ship is when it's, like, right here. Uh, I must have made it to... I must have made it to this one, actually. I think I went to the wrong one. Uh, that's fine. We'll just go. Um, I can't run because I have too many weapons, uh, this time. But I think I'm just gonna drop one of them so I can run. Uh, okay. Apparently this is a lot... Oh, this is this one's really fucking heavy. But it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a decent weapon, so I really shouldn't do that. Let me just, uh, swap this out. Uh, this one has lower accuracy. Oh, this one has- the AK is actually pretty good. Fuck, I don't know what to drop here. Just drop some of these scorpions, fuck them. Cause I, I wanna actually run normal- ah, fuck it, you know what, no. Just pick it all back up and we'll walk there. Cause when I'm overloaded, I can't, uh, run. Does you see my blue meter? That's my stamina, look how fast that goes down. And then I'm gonna be breathing heavily like I smoke like a pack a day, so. Uh, anyways, the death that I had, uh, I think it, I, I'm gonna say glitch, because I was inside, and, like, you could tell that it kind of, like, randomly, like, I moved to, like, the corner of the, the ship, and then it deemed me as being outside again, so, and then I just died instantly, so it was fucking great shit. Uh, <laughs> I should've just stayed, I should've just stayed put. I, I, I tempted it by moving, and then, yeah. Actually, we, we, there was the... Uh, there's something over here now. Okay, that's an odd death animation, but sure. I would never guess that he was actually dead. Now you notice how these guys don't actually pair on my radar, so I just have to basically look for them the old-fashioned way. Which is using my eye holes. And yeah, this is, this is all still here. I think we can get most of it. Sausage. Stalker energy drink wouldn't be that bad. There we go, we got it. So that vodka, I don't know. There's no, I don't think there is prone in this game, although maybe there's some key combination I, I forget about. Oh, there we go, oh yeah, okay, there it is. There's a kind of a prone. So if you walk while you're um, crouching, you apparently, because um, I have it on auto. Uh, there we go, stash found. I have it on like auto run, and so that's you don't crouch far as far down as you would normally. That's actually what you were supposed to do. 
I wouldn't really know this, but you know, whatever. Bug proof game? No, this has nothing to do with bugs. We want to go to that that one. We don't want to go to that ship. If you do another mission, I swear to Christ, game. Because we're we're gonna walk there in a, in a leisurely pace and enjoy the nice atmosphere of the fucking I don't know these metal umbrellas or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that was not the right ship, by the way. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty certain of that now. Oh, there's some animals here. Let's uh, have a nice look at that. Okay, actually, what's not? Because I just went down here. Let's let's look at the nice swamp instead, fellas. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, the, the fact it's getting so dark and foggy probably means a mission again. But you know, at least I know I'll be safe in the other ship. That will not have anything of the sort. That will glitch me out. I'm gonna just put on my light. Yeah, there you go. See, you can see there's like a star on my map. Hey, guys. The boss is over there. Talk go talk to the to boss him. if you need something. Howdy ho. Uh, howdy ho. Uh, he's got a fair bit of uh, leeway, so let's just sell him all my crap here. Dude, he's gonna give. He has like six thousand on him, so he'll give me a, a lot of. Bullshit for this. Alright, this is also too. Like, how are these two damaged? I find that hard to believe. You're just being picky and just selling all the vodka. There you go. We got a fair bit out of that. Alright, see ya. Hey, bro. Uh. Oh, I see. So it's the star on the map. Okay, well, I completely mixed myself up, and now I have absolutely no idea where I'm walking anywhere. Need to walk this way? Yeah, okay. But, okay, yeah. It, it, it is this way. Okay, maybe, maybe that wasn't the guy on the map. It, yeah, there it is. Now we can see it. We can see a, a shit ton of icons appearing. And also the ship's on fire. That's that's also a good sign. Also, I can run now. What am I doing? Alright, let's try and get up here. Here we are. All right, welcome to. Hello. I'll take your bread. Welcome to the inside of here. Well, good luck. So here's our. What brings you to our humble vessel? Here's our native uh, trader man, or ball, sorry, bartender, and he's like, "Do you have a job for me?" I uh, got a little something. Uh, last night, stalkers saw some kind of weird glow out the, out of Dredge Station. Uh, even too, too weird even for these parts. Won't you check it out? Uh, sure, I will. Okay, watch yourself out there. Don't forget your meds. Thank you later. All right. Well. So yeah. So if we want to trade with him, he just sells like bread and uh, rations, I guess. Uh, before we talk to anyone else, I want to go talk to some of the other people here. We'll eventually get some medkits here. This is our resident uh, healer or whatever. I don't think we can actually sell him anything. He won't give me money for it. So you got anything new? And this guy sells us uh, guns, and he also sells inf or he wants a he wants information. He likes information basically. So he has a trench coat. This is actually absolutely he has absolutely no guns whatsoever. What the fuck? He's supposed to have way more. Why is that the case? He's selling like literally nothing. Uh, I'm actually wondering if I actually have. No, I have the mod installed. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here's some new stuff. Okay, never mind. I thought he was supposed to sell shit like this. Yeah, you have the links. Um, I got confused there. Sorry for a second there. I'm just wondering. I'm like, did something not sell properly? I could have sworn he's supposed to have more than that. Here you have a uh, ATV, uh, AVT 40. So you have like all your snipers. You have your machine guns. Uh, Al, Al 115 A3. That's a nice one. I want to get that one. But you know, the one for it. An emission is approaching. I repeat, an emission is approaching. Seek cover immediately. 
So they have more than enough in terms of uh, equipment here, which is kind of nice. He doesn't usually sell this much. I'm just telling you that now. Usually, the usually this uh, SUVA suit is something that you have to go out of your way to get. He's got a, a little SMG there, the Whisper, rare variant of a. Uh, yeah, but this is this stuff is, 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 is uh, it's expensive as shit. So obviously not the best. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait a while before we can get any of that. All right, see ya. Howdy ho! Okay, we're- I'm not making- I'm actually saving it now, so we don't make the same mistake. So, this Attention guy- stalkers! An emission will start any minute now! Find cover if you want to live! Actually, there's some stuff here I can take. I'll just slurp up all that. Uh, I need information. What do you know about the crashed helicopters? Everyone around here knows where they fell. One came down at the southern plateau. Uh, second line in the swamp and third saddle right on top of the <laughs> substation pilot <laughs> pilots. Which place are you talking about? It's on the plateau. Pay up. I'm not gonna fucking pay him. I know where they are already. It's like fucking stalker intensifies right now. Alright. Ah, uh, this is Yasha Torn. Let's just ignore the fucking blowout. Greetings. Uh he doesn't have anything for me. Listen up. Sultan wants to see you. I'll take your drink. If you did something, so you, you managed to drag your ass over here? Bravo! See you. Oh. If you managed to stay in one piece, that is. Well, I don't want to talk hey, to him bro. right now. Uh, Snag wants to. Do you want to get paid? What's the job? I hit some loot in the old Zaf something car. When the earthquake hit and the car fell underground, I checked the car and it appears to be. Within reach, uh, but there's mutants up, up uh, down there. You know, snarks. Believe it or not, I ain't scared of controllers, but those damn snarks are just too creepy and disgusting for me. If you get a hold of the container with the security lock, we'll split the loot. Uh, split the swarm bar. Okay, deal. All right, so we got to bring the container to him. All right, this guy doesn't have a job for me. Hey, bro. Uh, the last guy who has a job is oh, maybe this guy. Help out our camp at the same time. What kind of job? Several stalkers have gone missing. No one has heard anything about them. Uh, but just the other day, we found one body. No signs of violence, but it was blood completely dry. It's got to be blood suckers. All right, what do I have to do? Uh, we're gonna find their lair and track down Danella. Suckers, the emission is finally over. All right, I agree. I hope you're all in one piece. So he's gonna check two places first. Um, he's gonna go run some errands. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna hunt some blood suckers with him in a bit. Uh, everyone's looking for magpie. Can't put a put a bullet in his head. All right. What has he done to harm you? Or he comes up to me once and says he can't get his loot out because of a controller. My crew was a, uh, a man short right then. Oh, so it's a guy. So magpie decided to get his loot and took hunting with us. Took a okay. So he took some loot and then he just abandoned everyone. What a guy. I'll let you know for sure if I see Magpie. So we're, we're looking for a stalker, just like, just one randomly, so. Anyways, uh, that's all the time we got for today. Listen up. Sultan wants to see you. Yeah, we'll talk to this guy after, so take care. Goodbye.